it's like the funny thing about Trump, like if you ever done like any kind of, uh, I don't know, work with people where you depend on people uh, in your job, you know, away from a computer, away from the veil, you know, if you're a frontline person, then you deal with a lot of the nasty stuff and a lot of the, you know, the ethics, the business ethics of getting things done. And, um, you know, I'm not just talking about on a level of having a job. I'm talking about a, a level of leadership. Let me put this up here so I don't get a ticket. And you learn things psychologically about people. And you learn that, you know, it's not, it's not a question of good and bad or right or wrong, good and evil. People, sometimes people like to take that whole good and evil fight too, too much. You know, it's like, hold on, bro. Everything's not out to get you and everything's not good and evil. Everything's not like that. It's, it's, you have to look at it from a different perspective of necessity and what are people going to do based on their necessities and, and based on their biases, based on their conditioning and their training, their, uh, just based on them, you know, and you don't know all these things about people until you take the time. Um, not everybody who's talking to you is out to get you for nefarious reasons, you know what I'm saying? Not everybody who, um, you know, comes at you is out to get you, you know, that's what you have to realize, you know, and not everybody, you know, who's there is not out to get you, I'm just saying, you have to take the time to investigate, take the time, and don't be in a rush, because when you rush, when they say don't be in a rush, it's not so much that you can't move fast as you want, it's just you can't rush the other person, or rush the judgment, you know, or, or rush the situation, for example, if, you know, somebody comes at you with a business opportunity, and it cost money you know you can't be scared of that all the time because you're a weak pussy motherfucker you know what i'm saying everything costs money even your job costs money to start i remember last job i started um i had to buy boots and some other shit some other shit to start my job it cost the investment i had to buy the tools for the job i had to you know um it's just a matter of confidence though how much confidence do you have in the system how much confidence do you have in the product does does the system and the product match your ethics? You know, all business is dirty on some <clears throat> on some level. You know, when you go to the jewelry store and you buy jewelry, that money that that uh, jewelry is dug up by by um, blood diamonds. You know, all that kind of shit. You know, you don't know where them diamonds are coming from and how they got to that jewelry store. You know, but you know, people selling jewelry feel real com comfortable. You know, that it's clean business. You know, I was in the military and. I remember, man, after 9-11, we went over there and we killed a lot of people, man. And nobody talks about that, you know. Nobody talks about how we went over there to the Middle East and killed a lot of fucking people, bro. A lot of people, you know. We were dropping bombs the size of my house in certain places. And, that, and you know, you don't just kill one person with a bomb that size, you know. Launching, launching rockets from a ship. You know, we went to war with that country and we killed a lot of people. So, you know all business is dirty just by being in america you're in a dirty business you know on some level no matter what you do so you have to get over that fucking pride like you know you got so much integrity or you would never do sales because it's dirty selling you know it's like you're so full of shit you're talking on an iphone iphone sold more phones and created uh, such a fucking veil over you that you think that's the way to go. I use Android because it's open. I can do all kinds of shit with my Android. I don't even need to have a laptop anymore. I love my Android phone. I love my Android device company, um, BTVI3. It's a great product. That's why I got involved with it because I like it. I like the way it works. I like its function. Um, I like it. You know what I'm saying? And I like the company that they're continually improving the product. They they claw and fight and, and, and strive to, to maintain this company as well as improve the product day by day. They're constantly recruiting, constantly bringing people in, you know, to the business. And, and that's what it's all about. And I love that. And I love the guidance that's there in that because you can't learn that in a classroom, bro. You can't. You know, when I go down there and I meet with Christian Rosario, this is a dude who been in the dirt, you know what I'm saying? He was telling me stories about how he used to hang out with his friend and sell his CDs with him. You know, everybody got that rapping motherfucking friend 
and talk about they a, they a rapper and they try and sell CDs like E40 out the trunk of their car, like uh, yeah, you know, like rappers back in the day used to sell uh, out the trunk of their car, and it's like that's that's dirt, that's hard, nigga, that's hard. <laughs> I don't know, man. Selling your mixtape at the fucking liquor store is hard. That's hard business, but that's the kind of fucking dirt that niggas come out of. You know what I'm saying? And that's the kind of dirt that Christian Rosario's come out of. And um, he goes in there and he starts this company on the MLM platform. And people are already turned off by that because they have their fucking thoughts about MLM. But the truth is, it's money, bro. It's a product. Some people want the product. You facilitate them buying the product and you get a check. It's that fucking simple. When people hear that word, Emily, oh yeah, but I can make residual income. I don't like making residual income on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro. Do what you want to do. But it's a product. You sell the product. You get a check. That's it. And then on top of that, you get residual income if you know how to talk, talk to other people and other people want to sell the product that you sell. That's it. We sell stereo systems. We sell fucking uh, uh, the BTVI3, the streaming television system, and we sell fucking all kinds of accessories and shit. We make a product from the ground up. We produce every fucking thing in that product. We have it manufactured. We continue to improve the product. The product is the best fucking product on the market, and you worried about making residual income. Like, it's something dirty about it. You're a goddamn fool, man. These are the nicest people I've ever met. These are the best people I've ever met. And I suggest if you want to do business in this millennia coming up with the new Trump election and those type of uh, lions. Yeah, Trump is a lion. That's why people don't like him. The little lambs are scared. They're scared that an entrepreneur, that a businessman is running the fucking country. And you know what? Hey, businessmen don't fuck around, man. It's about the bottom line. The bottom line is you produce... You generate revenue, you make sales, and that's that. You know what I'm saying? That's that. If you're not doing that, then you're fucking off your time. So all I'm saying is, you know, there is a system in place here. There's a product and there's a goal. It's a great product. Uh, I enjoy it. I watch The Walking Dead all the fucking time on it. I, uh, you know, do my little fucking... Um, Snapchats and shit on it, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I use the fucking thing for everything now. You know, now when I'm sitting at home, you know, and I don't have to let stare at my little ass screen on the phone. I can use the fucking BTV to do everything that um, that my phone does on my TV. Matter of fact, I can hook my phone up to my TV. I mean, I like it. I mean, some people say, oh, but the price, the price. Well, I mean, you get what you pay for it, man. You go with a shady company that somebody's selling you fucking um, Android boxes out the trunk of their car, then that's what you're going to get. Because I had one of them motherfuckers. Because the first thing I did when I fucking found BTV is I went out and tried to source an Android box from China. And I bought them for, you know, the little $30, $50 box. And that's what you get. You get a box, a $30, $50 box. And, you know, the motherfucker works sometimes and it's, it's a piece of shit. With ours, you know, you turn on the movie, it works, it's high-end, it's the highest quality Android box you can buy. That's why it costs that much. Um, I don't know what else to tell you about that, but this is how I talk when I'm really being real. So, I made this uh, video for people who can recognize that and, and hear that way, you know. I'm selling a great product, I believe in it. Um, the company is phenomenal. The people, the organization, I've been watching them for a year. I've been studying under these guys for a year. These guys are phenomenal. Now, I understand anytime money's involved in a thing, people get all funny about money, but I, I can guarantee me and my, uh, you know, my family, we've had salons and, and businesses our whole life. And I'll tell you, business is fucking hard, bro. <laughs> it's fucking hard. It's not fucking easy. It's fucking hard. It's hard to create. To first, you got to create a fucking product or service. That means you got to be educated on a thing. And then you got to go fucking make that shit. Are you kidding me? That right there is a fucking hard. 
And then after you make that service or good, you got to go fucking sell that fucking service or good. And everything's not fucking dope. And they just legalized marijuana. Okay? So, I'm just saying, you got to first have a product. People got to want to fucking buy it. And all those things that are involved in business, then you got to deal with marketing. And marketing is the fucking thing. Marketing is everything. Because there's all kinds of shit out there to sell. And if you can have a product that's fucking good, that, uh, you know, works and is great, and you love the product, and it has a great system behind it that's easy as butter to get the word out for you to make money off of, you're an idiot if you don't see the value in that. Now, I'm not saying everybody can do it because some people are just very weak and, and hey, I've been there. Very fearful, scared of every goddamn body. Everybody's out to get you. You're fucking paranoid out your ass. And it's hard for you to relate to other people because you sit in your fucking room staring at your phone all day or, or even on the bus, you're staring at your phone, you're a little bitch. I understand. I've been there myself. I've been a little bitch myself. These phones got us fucked up. But if you can take hold of your life and open up to humanity, love thy neighbor, be a human fucking being and reach out and just talk to people. And on top of that, your business, you carry with you everywhere you go. So if people do are so inclined to give a shit about you and the business you're in, then you can tell them you have a product that they probably already want. Okay, so it's okay. It's a great product. It's a great marketing system. It's a great uh, revenue generator for you too. Um, that's the bottom line.